Welcome to the 2016 Preseason Spotlight. Our big focus this year is making each individual game of League feel unique and awesome. From which masteries you choose, the items you buy, and what marksmen you pick, we want your decisions to meaningfully impact how each game plays out. Let's kick things off with the changes to marksmen. We're adjusting marksmen in preseason to take advantage of their shiny new items, but six champions are getting considerable changes aimed at making them distinct. Quinn's all about map mobility. On practically no cooldown, Quinn can call on her Valor Valet for quick trips around the map. We like to think of her as League's firefighter, able to speedily counter an annoying split pusher or whiz across the rift to help a fleeing ally. It's all in a day's work for Demacia's wings. Just like hunting fresher keys. Graves demolishes squishy targets, trading range for explosive close combat. His shotgun now acts like one, replacing his basic attack with a blockable spread of buckshot. He's also sporting a new Q, end of the line, which deals heavy damage to enemies trapped near walls or in tight corridors. Don't die yet. <laughs> <laughs> Corky's damage is the most magical of the marksmen. His basic attacks now split their damage between magical and physical. Plus, he's got a new passive. Every few minutes, Corky's pit crew will drop off a payload at his base, granting him a huge move speed boost and transforming his Valkyrie into an audacious bombing run for some daring teamfight maneuvers. Cogball was always your late game hyper carry. Now he's your late game giga carry. Bio Arcane Barrage doubles his attack speed as well as the attack speed cap, making him the only champion to be able to attack up to five times a second. That does mean the Void Puppy has to stand still to take full advantage of his terrifying attack speed though, so you know, counterplay. Miss Fortune's retaking her throne as the Marks woman to call when you want to win a team fight. Each level in bullet time adds additional waves of bullets, which now scale with crit. We've also loaded her up with a new passive, Love Tap, which gives the bounty hunter bonus damage the first time she attacks a new target. Guns blazing. Last but not least, Caitlyn is the sharpshooting siege master. Yordle Snaptrap now has ammo charges, letting her pack up and move her zone to towers, objectives, or anywhere that might need law enforcement on the fly. If an enemy steps on one, or you hit them with 90 caliber net, your next basic attack against your victim becomes a super long range headshot. Nowhere to hide. Following up on all these marksman changes, we've tweaked their existing toys and given them some new ones. Similar to our AP item changes earlier this year, we wanted to give marksmen a bunch of itemization options outside of just deal more damage. If you rely on spamming abilities, check out the new Essence Reaver. It doesn't just improve your mana regen, it also grants you additional cooldown reduction based on your crit chance, leading to some ridiculously explosive fights. Meanwhile, Phantom Dancer has some new bonuses that improve its dueling capabilities, and the AoE bolts from Runon's Hurricane can crit, so everyone gets to be Jinx. We're boosting Static Shift's Wave Clear and introducing Rapid Fire Cannon, which charges up to unload a long-ranged, high-damage shot onto a single target. And yes, that also works on structures. There are a ton of items we don't have time to cover, but before we move on, let's talk a little about starting items. Along with Doran's classic collection, we've got a few more added to the mix. Cull provides bonus gold for each minion killed. The Dark Seal provides an aggressive option for those looking to snowball, while new refillable potions give multiple avenues of sustain to fit your particular playstyle. We're making some changes to vision that make buying and placing wards more of a team-oriented objective and less like upkeep. Supports now have two possible paths to take their gold income items. They can either upgrade into their final form, powerful, active, and all, or they can combine with Sightstone to free up an extra item slot. And since you always forgot to do it, trinkets now upgrade automatically for everyone throughout the game. 
We're also removing stealth wards from the shop, so teams will have to lean more heavily on their trinkets and pink wards to get vision control. When wards die, they now leave behind debris for a few minutes. Try and find patterns in your enemy's wards and use that knowledge to crush their spirits. They'll never see it coming. Historically, early game objectives have been focused around the bottom half of the rift, leaving top lane a lonely slugfest. We're mixing things up a bit this year. Meet the Rift Herald. Herald is a neutral monster who squats inside the Baron Pit for the first 20 minutes. It gives top laners something to miss when they teleport away, and a reason to try and dominate the top side of the map. The champion who strikes the killing blow on it will gain a buff focused on early game power and pushing down the lane. Taking down the Rift Herald is usually a two-person affair, so team up with your jungler and serve Herald their eviction notice. We're entirely reworking the mastery system. We're giving you fewer choices overall, but making every choice really matter. In each mastery tree, you'll start by putting points into some simple stat increases, followed by a few unique effects to choose between. This pattern continues until the final keystone tier, which seriously impacts your gameplay. One keystone could see you choosing between a burst of speed whenever chunking out enemies, or an AoE Nova every few attacks, offering assassins or bursty mages either the extra reach they need to close a kill, or the mobility to escape after the job's done. The keystones are a big choice, but you'll only get one. This is just the beginning of our season-long changes to League of Legends, so your feedback is important to make sure we're on the right track. Check out the microsite for the full list of changes and get out there and choose your own adventure.